I might also grab some stuff for Alana because she's been showing me like all the stuff that she wants. And it's like really girly type stuff. Like, like more fashionable. Like cute skirts with little shirts. But like not just plain shirts and skirts. Like, you know, very fashionable. So let's see if they have anything for her that she might like. Also, right now it looks like they have 20% off of their kids shorts. And that's my issue is because <laughs> I'm here for the new baby. But then I see all this cute stuff on sale for like Ava size. And I'm like, I mean, would it really hurt to grab a couple pairs of shorts for her? You know, I'll come back <laughs> later because we are on a baby shopping trip. I may have to go somewhere else, guys. They don't have much selections here. That's all they have <laughs> type situation. I want to check out like their, that's what I really, I need like a really, really good breast pump. Um, I do also need soaps and stuff. But I feel like I should just buy those closer because I already buy them anyway for Ava. So I feel like if I buy them now, am I really going to keep them separate until the baby comes? Or am I just going to use them? And I'm going to do some more research, but I have seen where they were saying like the drug they found out is not good for babies. So did any of you guys see that as well? I mean, I guess I can. I guess it makes sense to buy one. But I feel like they're gonna have a sale soon. So I should just wait until they have the sale. Where usually they have, like, you know, buy three, get three free, or buy three, get one free, something like that. I'm gonna check the Target. Actually, let me check now. I can just scan it really quick. Usually, you can just scan the back of it and it'll tell you whether or not they have like a coupon for it. So, no, not right now, but I'm sure they'll have one before the baby comes. So I'll just wait to get like all the soaps and everything that I'll need for his own, um, you know, like his little crib thing. Um, spend a hundred dollars, get a twenty dollar gift card. So I wonder. I mean, I guess it would make sense if I get like size newborn diapers, size one, and then if I get up to a hundred bucks, I'll get a $20 gift card, which I can just use for like the other kids. So, mm, yeah, so I'll get a pack of newborn. Okay guys, I'm gonna get a pack of newborn. And that would be 26. And then if I get size one, that would be 26 as well. And then maybe I'll get the bigger kids some diapers from here too to make it to that 100 bucks. Their size six, which the size six I'm assuming is this price down here, the 45. But I'm trying to remember because I got them from Sam's Club, 
and I think you guys have done like 150 or like 100 and something like 60 maybe for that same price so okay so now I'm torn my kids do I get all the pacifier in the beginning and then I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing because they just stay attached to the breast they just stay attached to the breast like so often so I mean but I don't have to worry about getting them off the, the pacifier ever so I don't know if that's like a win-win I don't know then I'm going like, to the boob like all the time. So I don't know. Nursing pads. I definitely need. I need a really good pump. I like these ones that you see they use where you don't have to hold it. You just put it on there. To the price though, so boom, it is too hot for that half time. I'm just not into having to cover it. Like, why should I? I'm seeing a human here. I've been seeing these a lot on like the breastfeeding side. I'm on, I always see these. I don't know if you just put it on there and it just catches it as it leaks out, but it looks so easy to use. I'm gonna do some more research before I buy it. So yeah. And now I'm gonna do like a really good bottle. Um, these are the ones I usually use. The Nuke. Oh, they have these on sale. I usually use these ones, but they don't have this like got the really good nipple. But I don't see the small version. I just see the big ones. Oh, okay. They have the big pack down there, but that one is open. It's a 12 pack and it's the last one. It's 50 bucks, so I mean I'm gonna pay. If I'm paying 50 bucks, I really don't want it to be open. You know, so I'll probably just order that online. But if you see, the reason why these are these are the new ones. Um, the reason why they're so good is because when you're breastfeeding, sometimes it's hard to get the baby to transition from the boob to the bottle. So, and I'm not around, it makes it easier for him to feed the baby. Cause like Anthony refused for like <laughs> the first month to take any kind of bottle. $28. These are the bottles I was talking about. How many come in here? 24 pack. 24 for $28. And I mean, they're good for when you first have these are the ones the hospital gives you. And they're really good for when you first have the baby because you know your milk gonna come in for like the first like couple days usually mine by like the second day they come in um the milk comes in so i'll do these for the first day just because i don't want the baby to lose weight like most breastfeeding babies do and i wanted these because you know i'm having a home birth this time and i wanted to have like it set up how the hospital sets it up so i don't feel like too overwhelmed having to make bottles and stuff but I'm like, if you're paying $28 for a 24 count, I just feel like my money would go better with getting a can of Infamil and just having the bottle, you know, next to the bed with the milk, some fresh water, and um, a bottle warmer. But now I'm thinking like, 
I still have to get up to wash the bottle out. So maybe it would be better. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna sleep on it. I'm gonna sleep on it. Cause I'm not sure. But I definitely need these bottles. Just, I want this small. Like they have like the little four, um, four to six ounce ones. But I only see these ones. Not those. Um, these ones, which is the uh, bigger ones that go up to eight ounces. And then they have the pack down there that has the smaller one in it. But it's the last pack and it's been open so and I just ordered me a pregnancy pillow today so I'm really excited as you guys can see breast pumps are not cheap but usually your health insurance will cover it the only thing is that they only cover like the, those type of ones they don't really cover like these new advanced ones and these are the ones I want so I don't know exactly which one I'm gonna get yet but I'm gonna ask my mom group on Facebook and see which ones they recommend and I have my nursing pads maybe I should get two boxes um 60 so yeah I'm gonna get two boxes get two boxes of these see stuff like this really gets my attention but I have so many stress marks already but I guess you don't want to get any more so I could but I have like pure cocoa butter at home so I mean you know oh wow so this is the pregnancy pillows See, I just ordered one off Amazon, and I paid like $38 for it, and it looks like it's way bigger than this, like it goes around your entire body. Like this one just goes like from your head to your toes, but the one I got literally goes around and behind you. So, <laughs> my husband might have like this one better so he can get next to me, but... Is, I think actually, is this it? No, like even like right here, you see this one? It's still like the L shape, but yeah, like my goal is literally around your entire body from front to back. And like I said, I'll insert a picture of it um, from online because I just ordered it today, so it probably won't come. I think it said by Friday so now guys this is my issue because okay so you see I got these little cute strollers but we have so many kids it's like at this point I need like a three kids stroller because even with Jose Jr. and Alea being old enough to walk now because they're four or five I still have Anthony who's two Ava who one and then this baby coming in two months so we'll have a three-year-old a two-year-old i'm sorry no a two-year-old a one-year-old and a newborn so yeah um the stroller i'm definitely going to be getting like a a three kid stroller which hopefully also has the newborn attachment to it like they have this one where it has for one kid in the front and the newborn in the back but i needed to have two of these seats in the front plus the newborn attachment in the back. So yeah. I still don't know guys about the diapers. I think I'm gonna get them, but not, like I said, I'm just thinking like, I know, I guess if I get 20 bucks back, I'm spending 80 bucks basically on four boxes. But I'm trying to think like Sam's Club, I know I got like 100 and something for like 40. So, I just gotta do some math to see if that still adds up or not. 
this is so cute. It's a swing. And we do need a new swing. But. This is so cute. I really like this. It says like one something nine. Look at this one right here. 189. Is that the same one? Duet Connect. Yep. Deluxe. Yeah, so this is this one. This one. But then I like... I like this one. But I don't really... Four miles. Bluetooth enabled, machine washable, four built-in sounds, adjustable recline, interactive and removable toy box. Mm -hmm. So like this one goes from side to side, but I don't really know, because you can't like, <laughs> you don't see it. But look at this one, this one has like this. These prices are pretty steep, so I don't want to rush into this, so I'm going to do some research. I'm probably going to have to watch this video back to see exactly what the names were. So I need a good four moms, Mama Roo 4, Munchkin Swing. And if any of you guys use any of these, please leave some comments below to let me know which one would do you recommend I personally like this one the best because I don't with Ava being so little um like I said she's only one so I don't want her to like feel tempted to go pick up the baby and I feel like if the baby is like at this level so close to her it's more likely that she'll try opposed to when the baby's a little further up <laughs> um so yeah I'm just gonna do some research here we are with the baby gates. We actually need one of these now for Ava. But I have to measure first to see how big the doorway is. I just felt like this is so wrong. Like, look how they got the baby like caged up. But I like how it can go all the way across. How much is this? 109. And I don't know if I could possibly use this to cover like two separate doorways because it's not this big that I need to cross, it's just from the kitchen. So it's like maybe about four feet, maybe three and a half. So I guess, like I said, I'll measure that and then come back. But it's good to know the prices. So I can know like 109, you get 51.5 and just 100 and 92 inches plus 28 inches high. But I need to know if it breaks down because it has to be 50, oh, 51 to 192. So as long as it's at least 51, it'll be fine. But they have some smaller ones out here. 29 to 58 inches. 29 to 41, 64 for that one, and this one is 49, so yeah, I'm going to see how big the space is, and then my husband come back and pick this up once we can know. I did also want to check out... I don't need any of this right now. But I will need a bassinet because the bassinet we had on um, the crib, I mean, we had that used to be in all my videos. We kind of threw it out. 
because Ava wasn't using it and now she's moved on to a toddler bed. So, we need a new bassinet for the new baby. You know what? I think we need one of these too. But we don't. I, mean, I, I don't know because we don't really ever leave the baby by themselves. Because we have so many, it's like we're always around. I love these chairs. Now, this. The big square ones. Oh, my oh, $249. I wonder what's special about it. Cause you know the the big square ones are like it's also a playpen, and that one is like what 50 bucks, <laughs> maybe 75 or 80 for a really good one. And this one is $249. I see some buttons on here. I feel like if I buy it, it'll be a waste because I like store all of my pictures. You know, I take so many pictures and videos, and it's like I could make a baby book, but I don't know. Um, I don't see any regular bassinets, so maybe I won't be able to get one from here. Oh, is this the same one that we just looked at? Okay. So it does, this one goes deeper when they get older into like a, I guess a playpen? I don't know. They just have the baby laying down at the bottom. So, dream and grow, best size bassinet. So maybe that's why you're paying extra because it's specifically made for best size. And then like this one, this part like, you can just like unhook it I guess. So it's hooked. To reach for baby at night, you can just unhook it. I guess it makes it easier to grab baby, but $219. I mean, what is the plus about these guys? Could you let me know? Like, is it like safer, maybe? Or I don't know. Why is it so much more of a heftier price tag than the regular square ones? Because they still also have the storage on the side with the square ones and like I said that one turns into a playpen as they get older so I don't know but they do have some cute baby bags This one, but like blue and gray. But I'm pretty sure maybe I can find something on my Amazon. The last time I tried to find one on Amazon, when I say I was like so overwhelmed with how many choices it was, I ended up just getting like a basic. <laughs> um, I think I still have it, but I, I want a new one. I don't want to use that one. But I just got like a basic one, kind of like this, but like just all blue. Because <laughs> I was just so overwhelmed with all the choices. They don't have any options here. They have like this black leather type one. Or whatever this is. They have this gray one. This flower one. This one is really cute. But. Like I told you guys. I'm more into like the gray. Blue type. Like maybe like this. But like with more gray. So yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to go somewhere else to look at more clothes options. Um, oh, they have more blankets over here. Blankets is in like for 
see the blankets and stuff. But it's still not many options. Like, oh, these are swallers. But that's basically it, guys. So I'm definitely gonna, um, I don't know if I can, like, is Baby's IRS still even a thing? But I'm definitely gonna go somewhere that has a little bit more options as far as blankets and receiver blankets and um, outfits. I need more bibs and um, like, you know, all the spit rags and stuff. So once I start getting everything together. And these are some really cute maternity dresses. I think I might have to grab one or two. Oh, this is so cute. So they only have up to 2X. And I definitely feel more comfortable right now in a 3X. Well, actually, I think I could go 2X. So I really like this one. This is so cute to me. This color, the pattern, everything. It even matches my nails currently. So, but I don't see it over here. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know why they would have the dress right there but I have the one that they're selling close by like that is so annoying like why or maybe it's sold out because it's so cute like even this one I don't see it on the rack behind it so where is it so I'm just gonna get out of here I guess I didn't really come here for that anyway but really like this dress and I think it's like really just getting on my nerve that I can't find it do we have this in my size no nope. okay. yeah so now that they tease me with that dress I guess I'll just go ahead and get out of here um yeah I didn't really get much hair but like I said, stay tuned.